Oh boy, LDBC, LDMMAC, man. A lot of you dudes been trying to get at me. Y'all been trying to get at me heavy. And I'm going to just be real with y'all. When I say I've been working, I'm still out of town. I'm working, y'all. I'm working. I'm, I'm completely tired right now. And I got 10 minutes. That's all I got to make a video. I hope I can get it done in 10 minutes because I got to get back to what I was doing. <sighs> and I'm going to be working for a long time all the way. What? I'm, it's it's going to be a minute. <clears throat> but let me go ahead, guys. There's a lot of you dudes. I'm sorry. I just can't get back to you dudes as fast as y'all need me to. I just, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm swamped. Okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead, though. I got to address this one. Um, so the UFC. You know, you have to wonder, what is, what, what is the UFC doing? What are they really doing, okay? They, they booked this fight. Now, this is a shock to everybody, okay? Aaron Blanchfield is ranked number 10. Um, you know, do the UFC know, do the UFC understand fights? Of course they do. They wouldn't be the number one UFC, you know, uh, promotion in the world if they didn't understand fights, okay? They know that this fight for Aaron Blanchfield is damn near impossible. Now, this is MMA. Anything can happen. But here's the thing. This, I'm going to tell you why this fight has actually happened. You know and I know that Tyler Santos deserves a title shot, a rematch, okay? She took Valentina Shevchenko to the limit, and she almost won the fight. I don't care whether you, you don't want to hear that. Tyler Santos almost defeated Valentina Shevchenko. Folks, that's, that's just what it is. She did. The fight was close. It was a nail-biter of a fight, and Valentina Shevchenko eked out a 3-2 to two win over Tyler Santos. I mean, damn, what was it? It was a split decision? Well, I'm not sure, I'm not sure but I gave it 3-2 to two for Shevchenko. Tyler Santos made Valentina work for that win. Okay, this was not an easy victory for the bullet. Okay, but you have to look at this now, and I'm going to explain to you why Valentina, I mean, why Tyler Santos isn't getting this title shot. Tyler Santos is the victim of not being popular enough. That's just what it is. She's not popular enough. Like Aaron Blanchfield, she's not popular. So what do you do? What do you do? You give somebody an opportunity who's not popular against another person who's not very popular. And there you go. Okay? This has to make sense to the UFC. And in the UFC's eyes, Tyler Santos isn't a draw. If they want to put this fight on pay-per-view, well, can they do it? Can they put Shevchenko versus Santos 2 on pay-per-view? The answer is no. They can't. They don't have enough. They wouldn't have enough to put asses in seats. Okay? And this is the real reason why Tyler Santos isn't getting a rematch. Tyler Santos is bad for business. She's bad for it. Okay? As a fight fan, that sucks because I don't want to hear that. Okay? Me, personally, I don't want to hear that. She's bad for business. Okay, see, what the UFC does is Valentina Shevchenko is very lucrative to the UFC. I mean, she's going to do a lot of your promotional tours, okay? And who to better have an ambassador for the belt if you, if you got Valentina? Valentina is a, a magnificent ambassador to the damn belt. So she's going to go out on the promotional tours. She's going to do all this different, these different things that the UFC can use to help build their brand. I mean, Valentina Shevchenko is it. See, the whole nonsense that Nick Maynard, you know, called and, and said that, you know, Valentina didn't want to take the fight, guys, we knew that that was just a farce because Tyler Santos un understands, they understand the game too. Okay, you got to be somebody in this game to fight somebody. That's just what it is. You got to be somebody. So Tyler Santos, they did everything they could. And I can't, I can't knock the girl. I mean, you can't knock her because Tyler Santos is looking at this thing like, look, I can get this belt. I can make this serious paper. Like, you got to understand the mind of a fighter that's hungry. Tyler Santos is hungry. This girl was even willing to come back early, okay, with, with, with a damaged orbital bone. She legit was like, I can't get surgery. Because she knew that if she got surgery, it'll delay her return. And if she's not eligible to fight, well, guess what? She's going to get passed over. So this girl refused surgery, okay, came up with this story that Valentina's running from her, but, you know, she not. To do all this to get a title shot, and none of that worked because she's not popular. And at the end of the day, okay, who's popular? Think about it. What other fighter is popular? It's Alexa Grazo. Alexa Grazo got a strong Mexican fan base behind her. 
Of course they're going to push that fight. And I told you guys, I told y'all that they were going to push the shevchenko Grazo fight. They're going to push that fight, and they're going to probably end up making that fight. Why? Because Valentina and Alexa Grazo, they've got huge followings. If you want to predict a title shot, you follow the money. You follow that money. You follow it. And a rematch for Tyler Santos as fight fans, that'd be awesome for us. But we're not getting that. It's not going to happen. They booked this fight right here. And Tyler Santos, she probably, she probably understands what's going on. She know it. She's probably mad about it, but she understands what's going on. And they probably told Tyler, look, Tyler, you're going to have to beat somebody. And Tyler Santos cannot go in here and just win against Aaron Blanchfield. She can't have a split decision or unanimous decision victory. Tyler Santos got to get in here, and she's got to break Aaron Blanchfield, break her everywhere, break her face, break her arms, break her ribs. Tyler Santos got to get in here and put serious hurt on Aaron Blanchfield and stop the fight. And I'm going to be brutally honest with y'all. That's the only way Tyler Santos gets a rematch. She go in there with a decision win, she can forget it. Okay? See, here go the thing. Tyler Santos got to do something that's memorable so she can go viral. She is going to have to knock Aaron Blanchfield out cold. I'm talking about put her to sleep. Okay? She's going to have to do that if she wants to draw enough attention to her name. Ain't that something, man? The day that fighters like Tyler Santos, they have to, they have to legit just, you know, come up with storylines to try to get, you know, just to try to engage in politics of fighting. Remember, it never used to be like this. Tyler Santos going to have to go in there and beat this girl into a coma. And I hate to say it like this because fighting is a dangerous game. Santos going to have to go in there and beat this girl unmercifully if she is to get a title shot. You know this, and I know this. Now, what about Aaron Blanchfield? You know what? I think the UFC, they're doing this girl a disservice. Now, it's a big opportunity. I can tell y'all, I can tell y'all, okay? We may not like Dana White. <laughs> we may not like the UFC at times. Dana White, if this man believes you can fight, he'll give you an opportunity. Whether you agree with what he does or not, he'll give you an opportunity, unless your name's Tanisha Tennant. But he will give you that opportunity to fight. The, the question is, what are you gonna do with your opportunity? Well, in front of Aaron Blanchfield, here's a huge opportunity. Okay, now if you're Aaron Blanchfield, would you say no to this? No, because this is your way to get to the belt. Unfortunately, the UFC and people like Aaron Blanchfield, they lack patience, okay? This fight is too soon for Blanchfield. It's way too soon. Blanchfield don't have the skill set to deal with Tyler Santos. And Tyler Santos is gonna go in here and she's gonna bloody and murk this girl to death. Okay, it's gonna be very one-sided. It, it, this is MMA, so anything can happen. But looking at what I see out of both of these fighters and watching a lot of video of these people training and fighting, I have no doubt that Tyler Santos is going to come in here and brutally destroy Aaron Blanchfield. It's too soon. If Aaron Blanchfield can pull this off, she'll be an overnight star. But the repercussion of Aaron Blanchfield going in here this soon and I mean, not the fact that she gets beat, but if this woman gets like knocked out, she gets brutally beaten, this will destroy this woman's career. And you're hearing it first. See, I hate it whenever there's a young prospect that come up and they start talking and running their mouth and then the UFC be like, okay, well you believe that you can do all of this that you're saying? Okay, well let's stir it up. Let's stir it up and let's step up, here you go. So the UFC, they gave Aaron Blanchfield a diamond. They gave Tyler Santos a piece of coal. Say, here, Tyler, take this piece of coal, make it into a diamond. Now, when I say make it into a diamond, Tyler Santos got to create a diamond of an experience, and she's got to knock this girl out. I think this is a bad move for Aaron Blanchfield. I think it's bad. Now, if Aaron Blanchfield can get in there and give a good account of herself, it may not be too bad. But if Aaron Blanchfield goes in here and gets dominated in every phase of this fight, this is not going to be good. It's not going to be good. She's young, man. She's young. And you want your young fighters to mature over time. 
you, you, you don't want to throw your young fighters into the wolves. Now, you have exceptions to the rule that they can handle that kind of pressure. And maybe, maybe Aaron Blanchfield may be an exception. I don't know. But, but what I've seen in the videos and the fights that I've seen in these two, in my honest opinion, I don't think Aaron Blanchfield stands a chance. I think Aaron Blanchfield believes she stands a chance, and that's good. Self-belief is good. But delusion is bad. Listen, folks. February the 18th is going to be the day of reckoning. Aaron Blanchfield is going to get the shit beat out of her.